FPL Sports, where we review all the best sports clips from around the world. Now, you're probably wondering, why should I watch over here instead of anywhere else? And that's because over there, they don't care about what you have to say. They don't even read the comments. But I think it's the opposite. So I read every single comment. So if you think what I'm saying is the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard, let me know in the comments below. If you think what I'm saying is the most amazing thing, then definitely please let me know. Either way, let's get into some discussions. Let's get into some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to. Something that we're really excited to be part of, and I think we're well on our way to doing it. So without further ado, let's get to it. We're watching a clip of First Things First, talking about Brock Purdy. Um, there's still always that debate about how good is Brock Purdy, and I guess Kansas City has compared him to none other than Drew Brees. Now, I just want to caution, I think Brock Purdy is a good, 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 good. I think Brock Pur Purdy, let me uh, start this over again. I think Brock Purdy is a good quarterback. He is not an elite quarterback, at least not yet. Could he be one day? Sure. But he's not elite yet. There's only so many elite quarterbacks, like two or three in the NFL. Unfortunately, he's just not that yet, which is okay. He's very young. Patrick Mahomes was an elite. Uh, maybe Patrick Mahomes was elite right off the bat, but not everyone is elite right off the bat. Tom Brady was an elite right off the bat, um, which is okay. And so when, when these other teams, coaches say these things, they're all always being polite. And you know what? The Chiefs, at least the coaching staff, they're a stand-up organization in that regard. So they're always going to give respect, especially after they won. They're going to say just nothing but positives about their opponent. It's just good sportsmanship. So I don't know what was said. We're about to find out. But just take it with a grain of salt, honestly. Who do you think to look, I, yeah. have a young quarterback? What? Huh? And a guy 880. Uh, let you in on the process. <laughs> we have a Google Doc to put stories into. But if you really want a story in the show, you text the producers. See if you at home uh, can guess who texted this report from Albert Breer. <laughs> Some may question Brock Purdy, but Spags and the Chiefs defensive staff, though, they were blown away by how he ripped apart the zone. <coughs> One of the coaches told me he sees Drew Brees' qualities in Purdy. Brew your reaction. Well, that might have been your best read Thanks. of the <laughs> football good. season. That was great. Well, I'm glad all these people watched the show. <laughs> And a lot of smart football people are now making the comparison of Brock Purdy to Drew Brees. Myself, yeah. a Super Bowl winning coach, whoever that coach is, he's on the Super Bowl staff. Why wouldn't, I mean, this is a compliment. I know, <laughs> yeah, I'm taking it on. And, and hey, right, and, and Drew Brees me, himself. Me Drew Brees. Look at Drew Brees himself. What did oh, Drew Brees himself say? We're about to see. <laughs> I was roundly mocked by all of you yeah, I'm gonna for do making this comparison. Yeah. That's Drew Brees saying yeah. it himself. <laughs> I mean, so, come on, coach. Four I, I and like, one yeah, in the look, playoffs I, when he plays. I don't you know. know which coach on the staff said it. Maybe the strength and conditioning coach said it. <laughs> but, look, look, I think it, was, I think me, it might have uh, been can I, can I just, off the Can record. I just show you what the game plan was for that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see if we can see what. What are, oh, we just wanted Brock to throw the ball. So I don't remember going to any game against Drew Brees well, and going, great. hey, we just want <laughs> Drew Brees to throw the ball. That's all we want to do. And then let's take a look Brock at Drew's, wow. let's take a look at Drew Purdy's stats. Okay, so in the Drew first Purdy. half, he was 67, <laughs> then 52.9. That doesn't seem very Brew, Brees esque. Typically, Drew got a little bit better as the game went on, as he, as he figured out how things were going to unfold. That's not really Drew Brees-esque. And, and look, post-Super Bowl, as a winner, you tend to be very um, generous with your compliments of the other team. And I think that was, was a very nice right. thing for them can, to say. I can I? You know I'm right. Can I? All right. Can I make a just <laughs> He was here? chewing up their I mean, the, zone. The game it, plan was Spags was like, we got to change the zone. We if got to change Brees the zone. If Drew Brees were on this Niners team, it would have been the greatest team ever. Currently or, or vintage Drew Brees? <sighs> maybe, maybe currently. <laughs> but certainly, but here, listen. They tried I, to sign him in the offseason. Yeah, he didn't get Brady. Uh, I, I just would like a little respect on Drew Brees' name. I know Saints fans don't like me because I'm the only person that understands their salary cap in the national, well, in, 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 from their local media. But this is one of the 15 greatest quarterbacks ever who, from 2008 to 2016, averaged 5,000 yards a year. Averaged it. And it's like, oh, he had no, his number one receiver most years was Marcus Colston, who was a, now Jimmy. Was yeah, yeah, he was good. He would be wide receiver three on the Niners. 
is what he would be. And so, again, like I, I am not trying to. I have been very nice to Brock Purdy the last couple of days because I thought he played fine he in the played, Super Bowl. And well. I thought, you know, he kind of played into the Chiefs' hands as far as they were, they were trying to take away the run to make him throw because they were more scared of Christian than they were of Brock. And Brock, to his credit, didn't make any brutal mm-hmm. mistakes. He had, if you're doing the wows and yikes, he only got one yikes and he got away with it. <laughs> and so, and he had a couple wows, so I give him credit. But <clears throat> the Drew Brees thing, you're right, bro. I made fun of you. And I will for you. Yeah, I think, okay, let's contextualize this for a second. I almost called him Drew Purdy. Brock Purdy is a good growing quarterback on an amazing team okay and that's where people are just continuing to struggle with this because what makes a quarterback really elite is that they're able to make magic despite their circumstances that doesn't mean that they can consistently win or that they can win super bowls but they still on more regular basis have those moments where they're clearly carrying the team like we've seen a Tom Brady do like we've seen a Patrick Mahomes do like we've seen a Joe Burrow do like we've seen um Justin Herbert do even for short windows unfortunately you know those players just have not been given the opportunity on a long enough timeline just yet um like we've seen Josh Allen do um and then you have other really 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 good to great players not be able to do that Dak Prescott has not been able to do that. Jalen Hurts did it for one season, but then this season was not able to do that. And I'm sure there's other quarterbacks I just can't think of right now. Um, And so, and that's kind of where Brock Purdy is in that regard, where we saw him play really well for like, you know, a season and a half and he played and he had uneven games in the playoffs. He just had, okay. And in the moments in the Super Bowl. When he needed to overcome the fumbles, the fumble of Ka- of Christian McCaffrey, the fumble of you know the punt return and stuff like that, he was unable to. Now I was very clear that I said that in order for the 49ers to be able to win, they needed to make Brock Purdy as comfortable as possible, high percentage throws, leaning on Christian McCaffrey. Do you know? And the other players needed to step up. That Brock Purdy needed to play a really solid game, and I absolutely say that Brock Purdy played a really good game a good enough game to win the Super Bowl absolutely no ifs ands or buts in my mind no ifs ands or buts and he put the 49ers in a situation to win the Super Bowl I mean what more can you ask for Christian McCaffrey fumbled the ball the fruit the fluke freak accident of the you know of of hitting the guy's leg on the punt return the missed extra point you know none of that has anything to do with Brock Purdy but the difference is is that when you're truly elite and a transcendent quarterback, you can kind of overcome those things, which is what Patrick Mahomes has been able to do, right? You know, he's been able to put that team on his back and make, you know, come up big in those moments. When it is third and five and you got to have that first down, he converts it. Whether, whether it's with his legs, with him scrambling and extending the play and then throwing the ball to someone who's seemingly wide open now, you know, just like crazy stuff that we have know we've seen him do. And Brock Purdy, to a degree, did that in against the Detroit Lions and did it against the Packers. But when it was time to do in the Super Bowl, Super Bowl he didn't. And, and that's the tragedy in, in Brock Purdy's story so far. Because the bigger the moment you play in, that now becomes who you are. People don't care about the Detroit Lions game now. That was the NFC Championship game. People don't care about the Packers game. That was the divisional round or whatever. Get the Packers, Jordan Love. Who's Jordan Love right now? You know? Th- that's what it gets that's what it gets boiled down to. No one no one cares about those moments. I care about those moments because I think it's a collection of everything. If someone balls out and is completely elite in one game and then the next game they don't play so well, it seems like the media just wants to say, see, we told you he's not that good. And it's a girl, well, wait a second. He played two games. One game he balled out and the other game he didn't play well. Why do we just say that the game that he didn't play well in is the real version of him and the game that he played really well in is not the true version of him? And that's what we see on media all the time. And I think it's all, you know, it, it's a combination. You have to you have to put this all into context. But the problem is, is he 
didn't come up big in those moments in the Super Bowl. So that is how people are perceiving it because the the goal is to obviously win a Super Bowl. So if you can't come up big in that moment, it's like, then who are you? And that's the biggest selling point of a Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts didn't win the Super Bowl and he even fumbled in the Super Bowl, but he came up huge. He out he played better than Patrick Mahomes. Just look at the numbers. Just watch the game. He didn't win, but he still balled out. A lot of people think that he played one of the best Super Bowls in in just in, in in as a quarterback in general, right? And again, that's not my personal opinion. I'm I'm pretty sure even Nick Wright has made that statement as well. Seriously, um, so he, I mean, him marching down the field, getting a touchdown, getting you know two point conversion. I mean, he put that team on his back in that moment, sacrificing his body, and it wasn't like a tush push, you know. It was just the pure will of Jalen Hurts, and. We saw that this season he had a, you know, not, not a good offensive and defensive coordinator was a little banged up with his knee and stuff like that. And his season went away. He didn't look the same. And so there's reason to believe that that could be, that could be Brock Purdy, that when the situation isn't perfect, or if you don't have a coach like Shanahan or McCaffrey's down or Debo's down, it's like Brock Purdy can't rise above that. Or at least he hasn't shown. I don't want to say that he can't. I said he hasn't necessarily shown to consistently be able to do that. And so in the Super Bowl. That's when you need to make it happen, right? That's when you get shown to really be, you know, who you are. Patrick Mahomes would not be considered Patrick Mahomes if he lost all these Super Bowls. If he just had one Super Bowl victory and was one for three, would it be one for three or one for four, right? Whatever it is. Um, then you would not say he's elite, but it's the fact that he's won these Super Bowls. Same thing with Tom Brady. If Tom Brady only won three Super Bowls, if Tom Brady, if, if Shanahan was able to just get one more point um, as the Falcons coach, uh, as the offensive coordinator, um, and, 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 you know, the Patriots lose that game or if, um, whoever did is, doesn't catch that interception against Seattle, you know, I think everyone still says that Tom Brady is unbelievable and is amazing and is one of the best quarterbacks ever, but I don't know if they would just say he's the undisputed goat, you know, the Eagles could have beat the Patriots, um, back in 2004, I think it was, it was a very close game, came down to a field goal as well. There was a, a one of the, uh, one of the Eagles wide receivers fumbled the ball into the back of the end zone, which ended up being a touchback, which obviously changed the game. But if that doesn't happen and they score a touchdown, um, maybe you know Tom Brady loses that game, and it's like, but does that mean that Tom Brady's technically any less special? I mean, not necessarily. It was just that that was the way the ball bounced. So I, I think you can you have to look at these things as a complete picture and the complete picture of someone's career. And that is the problem with Brock Purdy. We have a limited sample size. And the truth is, we've seen both really great and not so great. And when the moment really called for him ultimately to step up, he technically stepped up in a couple games. And then he wasn't able to step up. He didn't step down in the Super Bowl. He played well and played solid. And like I said, he put the 49ers in a position to win the Super Bowl. And that's really, at the end of the day, all you can ask for. He didn't make the mistake. He didn't give the Chiefs an advantage, really, at any moment. But when they really needed to just say, Brock, we need this. This is a gotta have it down. You gotta make it happen. He didn't. And again, I, in a lot of ways, I blame Shanahan for even putting them in that situation and putting Brock Purdy in that situation. I don't think... Shanahan did a good enough job to put Brock Purdy in a position to succeed, at least in the second half. Didn't make any of the necessary adjustments, abandoned the run, did all those things. And that was really kind of the difference because the Chiefs don't rely on Patrick Mahomes to be Superman every single time. But when it's a gotta have it down, when it's a gotta have it moment, they can rely on Patrick Mahomes. And not even Patrick Mahomes can do it every single time, but he can do it more times than he can't. And that's what makes him ultimately special is that he does it at a high enough percentage than virtually any quarterback out there right now. And so where does Brock Purdy's percentages lie? Does it end up that he succeeds in those situations? Six out of 10, seven out of 10, eight out of 10, four out of 10, five out of 10. You have to just wait and see. So to me, the jury's still out on Brock Purdy. But what we do know is there's two real big takeaways is, and this is the last point that I'll make is that Brock Purdy proved that with a good enough team around him, he can play good enough to win the Super Bowl. He can handle the moment. 
which a lot of people can't. A lot of quarterbacks have proven not to. He can. But what he also proved was that you can't say, Brock, go out and win this game for us. We need you to ball out. He proved, at least in the Super Bowl, in that moment, at this point in his career, he was unable to do that. Will he be able to do it next season? We'll have to wait and find out. But what do you guys think about all that? What do you think about the whole comparison between Drew Brees and Brock Purdy? Would love to hear your thoughts on this one. Please let me know in the comments below. Please don't forget to subscribe. As I said, we are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much and see you next time.